Hey YouTube, it's Brooks and today we are back with a one year review on the 2022 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XSE. I'm actually uh, right at 13 months here with the RAV4. Uh, in a short summation, if you are considering one at all, buy it. Uh, this has got to be one of the best all around vehicles on the market and we have loved, love, love, love having this car. Um, so got it. Uh, gosh, June 13th, I believe, of 2022. Uh, it's now July of 2023. And actually, on the one year anniversary of uh, this car's ownership, we hopped in and drove it cross country over to Colorado. Uh, so, um, right before that, we got a 15,000 mile service done. So, fair to say, a 15,000 miles done in a year, but we are well over that now after having driven uh, to Colorado and back. Um, but it's not why you guys are here. You want to know what we think about the RAV. Um, and as always, as an employee of Toyota Motor North America, these views are my own and do not reflect those of the company. Uh, so RAV4, as you know, has been out for several generations. One of the most popular um, uh, compact, although not really super compact anymore, uh, CUVs on the market. I think it was the best selling uh, last year, maybe, and a couple years prior to that. Uh, and the hybrid, um, is on in the lineup as well as well as a plug-in uh, hybrid so as you know we had a 2019 RAV4 LE before this which was the uh, first year of this current body style and that was the normal 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine which was great we love that car as well super efficient and it was affordable for us at the time um, and then we upgraded to this XSE hybrid uh, with a few trick option packages um, uh, last year after the lease was up on that uh, LE um, so XSE is the sport uh, grade, if you will. There's also a SE um, trim level. At one point, XSE was uh, specific to hybrid, and I believe still as well. Um, this one is in magnetic gray with the two-tone black roof. Um, and on honestly, just to reiterate what I just said, uh, this has been a great overall car. Efficiency is fantastic, which we'll dive into. Comfort and space is another high um, hallmark. Uh, got a lot of technology here as well. Uh, and space is great. Um, honestly, I would th think about going for a third one of these uh, once the lease is up on this one as well. But of course, we have two more years uh, on it. Um, so, uh, like I said, um, 2022, this marked a few changes for this body style that came out in 19. Uh, you've got these new headlights. Um, as you can see here, these are the LED headlights. We'll turn them on in a second with the LED runners. Uh, there were new wheels for 22 uh, and then some uh, Small changes on the inside, like a locking glove box and some illuminated um, window switches. Uh, 2023 did get a new infotainment system with wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, which would have been nice to have, but what we've got now is fine as well. Um, so I can't complain. Cars held up very well. Of course, nothing uh, outside of regular maintenance has been done to it. All the XSEs have this nice uh, blue stitching interior uh, with the... Uh, uh, Softex, I believe is what they call it, uh, interior trim. We'll go ahead and power it on. As you can see, 18 and a half thousand miles um, with the oil change having been done a little over a month ago. At, excuse me, not oil change, it was just a tire rotation at 15,000, but uh, service done uh, right at that one year mark. If you want to take a quick peek at any of the options that we have on this vehicle, you can see some of the um, more loaded features like the technology package, full glass roof, um, and weather package as well. But off on the left, you've got the uh, fuel economy and standard features as well. Um, and I can say that fuel economy has been incredibly accurate. Um, we have our lifetime average of 40.4 miles to the gallon with a fuel tank range over 500 miles. Um, during the school year, my wife's in the school system, uh, that average fuel economy goes up to like 41 and a half and her fuel range goes cl gets closer to 560 miles. But of course, like I said, just drove this thing, you know, basically 3000 miles and some change back and forth across the country. So obviously highway driving uh, decreased that fuel mileage just a little bit, but still fuel range is fantastic. Fuel mileage is incredible. Um, I uh, honestly, my wife drives around 40 miles round trip every day to work and back and I fill up her car every weekend for just to top it off but it's only about a half tank so we could go two weeks on a tank again love that love the features um the automatic wipers here of course you've got your Toyota safety sense which this one is the uh, 2.0 so you've got the uh, radar cruise control um and automatic high beams road sign assist lane trace assist all, all that kind of jazz 
auto headlights off to the side here. I love the storage bin over here for my wallet and phone. Memory seats here, which are a you know marriage saver. And then you've got your um, automatic um, window controls here. Blind spot monitoring. Digital rear view mirror up here. And again, we do have the full glass roof, which I love. Dark uh, brightens up the uh, the dark cabin here with the uh, sport black interior trim pieces. And then you've got LED interior illumination, a sunglasses holder and such. So we have XM radio, JBL sound system, and then a wired in CarPlay, which I think is fine, charges my phone. Um, and then that's basically all, all we use in, in the car anyways, is just plug up our phones and go. Dual zone climate, heated seats, and a Qi wireless charging pad. We do have the 360 degree camera, which I really like. It's, it's easy to see the, the curbs and, and not uh, scuff up the wheels, which neither of us have done um, in over a year and 18,000 miles. So I'm really happy to not have messed up those black wheels. Have a nice uh, rubber tray there. Storage bin and you do have USB-C chargers in there now. That was, I think, new for 22. And again, the space is great. That's where I sit comfortably to drive a little over six feet tall and I can fit behind myself just fine with a reclining second row seat here, dual cup holders, you have HVAC and USB-C charging as well and a great view out. Again, there's those black wheels. And I guess we did get a little bit of a nick on one of the wheels, but overall, uh, not too bad here. Power trunk. And again, this was plenty of room for the dog and us to pile in and go cross country. We've got the uh, subwoofer off on the left with the cargo cover. You can easily fit four people and their stuff in this vehicle. Uh, if you have any questions or, you know, I want to know any true honest feedback about owning a RAV4 uh, feel free to drop them down below again we've had two of them and uh, two powertrains of the three offered uh, on this body style but and I really love the way it looks of course looks are, are subjective um, but really for us the hallmarks are the uh, the space the efficiency technology um, like I said I, I'd buy another one and, and, <laughs> and might do so um, but I can't really think of any negatives. Um, you know, a couple things were like, maybe wish we had cooled seats, but then again, you know, you gotta have a reason to buy a Lexus. So I can't think of anything that I would do differently with this car. Um, we loved having it and, uh, you know, just wanted to give you a little one-year update. So thanks for watching and we'll uh, catch you next time.